Hey guys, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. In part two of this mill stop uh, vice today, we're going to be doing the CNC machining. And uh, now in part one, we did all the cam operations. So let's uh, get busy. Let's get stuck into it. Uh, what you see me doing here, guys, I'm actually setting the stock up in the vise, and you'll see that I've used the steel drill just to align it with the edge of the vise jaw. And obviously, this is why I'm making a, a drill, a mill vise stock, because I don't have one, and I'm resorting that sort of stuff. Uh, once I've put the part in the vise, guys, I'm going to give it a really good whack with the hammer, just to uh, settle it down and give it an attitude adjustment. Uh, what you're seeing here now, guys, I, I need to set up the work offset, okay? Um, so this is this will be G54. Usually my left-hand vice always run G54 work offset. And here I'm setting up the in the Cartesian coordinates. So I'm setting up the X, the Y, and the Z. Now you'll notice I'll pause for a minute on doing this uh, with my Pro because I'm going back to the controller. Uh, and switching between MPEG mode and MDI mode to save those values in the controller. Here I'm jogging up and I'll come over to the middle of the part and I'll actually set up the Z0. Now all my tools, so all my tool offsets are in relation to this probe and that's how we, uh, we run the tool changer guys. So you'll see me now flick over to the controller. Now here uh, you, if you look closely at the top left hand side now it's a little bit hard to see but you'll see the figures changing because that probe that I use has a 10 millimeter ball on one side of it uh, to the center of that so it's the radius is 5 mil you'll see I'm going positive x uh, 5 in x and then I'm resetting it and I'll go negative 5 in y and reset that now that will give me that 0 0 location now to prove what I'm doing today, um, what I'll do here, I'll do a command A tool change by using uh, MDI command uh, M06, I think it was tool two that I put in. And you'll see I'll jog down now guys and on proof of concept, I'll show you that that zero zero location is right in the corner of that. And if we go back to the cam real quick, you can see that I've given that back left corner. And just to prove it, I'll zoom in and you can see it. Alrighty, so uh, look, I'll stop talking. I'll shut the door, guys. Now, this footage is all at 100%. It's not sped up. Now, I've done that today, guys, because a lot of you out there say, hey, Aaron, stop speeding up the footage. Uh, we'd like to just watch it in real time. Now, I'm sorry if you find that boring, guys, but uh, look, you're more than welcome to skip through it and have a look. You'll see all those operations that we can previously in part one. Alrighty, stick with it guys, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, like all my videos, um, you know, please uh, feel free to leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it, thank you.